Hey everyone, it's Luby Lugs Gaming here. Now welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video, The Twin Mirror. Now, in the last video, we went to the Basswood Jungle in search of Dennis. <laughs> Unfortunately, we found out that Dennis was murdered. Now we worked out that the reason that we had blood on our hands, uh, sorry, on our shirt, was that we interrupted the murderer and we turned Dennis's body over. We did a bit of snooping around and we uncovered that Nick had found, uh, had uncovered something in one of his stories that he was working on. And the police report for the crash was a bit suspicious. And we left the video entering the code to get the archive files. Now without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Right. Unemployment skyrocketed after the mine closed. Very normal. Flattened out in the last year or so. On the rebound. Numbers looking good. Ten, uh, trend or outlier. Need more data points. Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. Mm -hmm. What was he looking for? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. West Virginia to Florida, train 254. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. 1 20, 27th of the 1st, 8 pm with D, twi <laughs> D Twitchy Guy. But might have something useful. 12 of the 2nd. 5 p.m. Second meeting with D. This is actually something. Assuming he is not full of crap, always wants to meet in spooky spots. Maybe he's seen too many movies. 18th of the third, 10 a.m. with D. Had to buy him breakfast, and he said he we we couldn't meet anymore. Seems like a dead end. First of the fourth. Ooh. Thought I'd lost him. Glad he's open to talking again. Hmm. Okay. Right, it's not giving us anything really to go on here. Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. Right, back. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. I need to be very careful. Nick was over his head. He tried to tell me something. Hmm. Dennis tried to talk to me about that's what got him killed. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? <gasps> What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, I is listen he... to me. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't kill him. Anna, I did not kill Dennis. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Your bloody shirt was clearly from this. That means you were here yesterday. It links you to the crime scene. And you've been running around town all morning asking about Dennis. It won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did at first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. 
Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is gonna find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. You've already trusted Anna once. I suggest you keep on that road. Uh, call the cops or leave the right way. Anna, no. They'll want to interrogate me and we'll never find out who did this. What's wrong with you? How could you be so cold? We can't make him not dead. We gotta investigate it. We'll decide if we can find out what really happened. Trust me. I'm not comfortable with this. But if you insist, we'll just leave him. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. Sam, I'm not... I'm not sure this is a good idea, going on your own like that. Come with me then. I'd like you to come with me. Whatever I find, I don't want to face it alone. Let's go to the crash site. We don't have a second to lose. Ooh. Just hope these... Just hoping the sound's gonna be okay since my PC updated itself. It's been a pure nightmare. Here we are. It barely looks like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to. Sure, I doubt I'll be good company anyway. You mean you're over-focused to the point of non-reactive thing? I remember. Especially how you always end up being right, somehow. I hope. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me neither. Mm -hmm. This is the place. So this is the crash site. get to the bottom of this first gather the clues cold hard plain facts that's the only way I'll know what really happened right okay so we've got inspect so we got Turned that clue signs were torn out did Nick's car do that Fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. Right, let's investigate. That piece of wood here. must be from one of the damaged road signs. No skid marks, no trace of sudden braking. The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. These road signs are intact. Not a scratch on them. Right, so is that everything in this bit here? We've uh, seen the piece of wood, We've seen the grass and all that. Right, okay, so. So he went down there. Is there anything to investigate up here? Oh, a tree log. Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road. Right, okay. Oh. Animal footprints. An animal came through here. Maybe that's what surprised Nick. But the tracks don't reach the road. Anything up here? Oh, fuel stain. A fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel? That would suggest why it went on fire. 
Another one. Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him. Yeah, I mean, if he drives that every day, then he's going to know. Oh. Right, so can't go any further up there because that just takes us out of here. So need to find some more clues. So the car obviously came over there and down to here. So here we go. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense judging the damages to the area. The bark got badly burnt. Must be where Nick crashed. Oh, has that got all the clues? That's all the information I need. Time to put everything together. Press right button to go into the mine place. The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. He was startled by an animal. Oof. And drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. Things don't add up. Okay, so it's running down here. See, that's going not the way it needs to. Try none a second. Right, okay. So at that speed, he would have gone through there, so that's not right. So here... Let's try the tree log. No. So it won't be that so... Try none a second. What about the... The car, the fuel? It's up here, so the car and the fuel. Say it already caught fire. Uh, say he was unconscious. Let's see what happened there. Simulation fits the evidence. The police report was wrong. Was he already dead before?
Jesus. I thought you quit. I did. So, did you find anything? Nick, he was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... Joe, it's Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. Ooh. Are you all right? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Someone broke into your house. The plot thickens. Sorry, I've had to muddle around with the audio. Uh, my oh, knowledge is power completed. Uh, my uh, PC has done an update and it's reset a lot of stuff again, which is a pain in the ass. Okay, so about Dad. Don't tell him what we found, please. It'll just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out. I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Also, take a few moments for yourself as well. You used to live here, and now some other guy, Nick of all people, was living here. With her. Things are different. She's different. You're different. I'm different. But am I different enough to not fall into old patterns? Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you can never go home again. Right, so let's head into the house. The last oh, time Joe. I was here, I was shoving way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't fit them all. It's, it's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house, and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. I'm with the doctors more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. I'm gonna have to side with Anna on this one. Can't miss appointments. Just because I'm an old man in a wheelchair, you two think you can push me around. <laughs> Dad, I love you. And I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house, your rules. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Though before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong, but she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe, I don't know. Should she's I... all I have left. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your word. Wow. Heavy. <laughs> Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father.
We've got to make the promise, don't we? I still can't hide anything from you. Sam, don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you on this. I'm not some kid. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. I'm heading inside. See how bad it is. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, okay, so I need to get in there eventually. But maybe I should look around the property first. Okay. What are we looking for? Looking for clues or I used to follow it down to the shack every other week for fishing Sunday. Fishing Sunday. We looking for like a a broken window or something? Jones Red Baron blankets. Not really of any interest. A gazebo. Paint bucket. The garden. No smashed windows. Oh, hang on. Garden shed looks intact. Okay. Oh, for sale. Oh, we've got a mind place one. All right, okay. I think the happiest I ever saw Anna was the day she bought this place. to know this house is sold. You're mine. I own you now. <laughs> it might be 200 years before it's paid off, but it's mine. So, when can I start moving my own stuff in? After you finish carrying all my stuff in. Sure, but that means I get to choose which side of the bed I'm sleeping on. What? No. You're going to sleep on the side closest to the door. Why is that? So, if someone breaks in, you can fight them off. And maybe because I like being near the window. Somehow I feel like it's entirely the second thing and not at all the first. <laughs> we can talk about all this after my stuff's inside. But all your stuff's so heavy. Which is why I need your help. Don't slack, Sam. <laughs> this house isn't going to decorate itself. And I want you to be part of that. Well, I think that's where I'm going to leave this video. And if you'd like to help support the channel, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching another video, A Twin Mirror. If you've liked it, whoosh, high five that like button. And if you want to see more, be sure to smash that subscription button down below. And last but not least, remember, life's a game. So play it well. I'll see you in my next video.